Wow. <laughs> I didn't mean to put such a damper on the party here, especially since Amanda's worked so hard to try to cheer me up. I just made a suggestion that he should take some time off at the hospital and spend more time with Trevor, just the two of them, and then you and I could be together. I could pick up extra shifts at the hospital. You know, that helps. And I can get other doctors to do the same thing, and nobody would compromise your privacy. That's very gracious of you, Jake. Thank you. Nothing's been decided yet. Hmm. Hey, why don't you go lie down before you pass out? Yeah, that's a good idea. You're a lucky man. Hi. Hey, thank you. Thank you for easing up on David. That, that was for real, right? Well, I still hate him, but... Listen, if he's facing the end and he... I don't know, maybe it's given him a new perspective on life. Well, if he is, great, but that is not what I care about. I care about us. And, and, and I won't be mad, either. About what? Well, if it's true he wants to make amends, you know, before he leaves this earth and he wants to do it with your help, and you want to do it, I, I'm okay with that. Okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. Then why are you at the hospital? I was, uh, looking for a Christmas miracle. Hey, what's so urgent? I want to go over our strategy for the trial. Um, <laughs> we, we have time for that, uh, Annie. Right now you need to be resting. No, no, no. I need to know your plan and how you plan on getting me acquitted. So we're going to go over everything, starting with your witness I list. I really, I just don't think that now is, is Who's the Who's on the list? Time. Well, Adam is, of course. Okay. And so a lawyer never lets a witness get on the stand unless they know exactly what they're going to say, correct? That's usually the case, yes. Okay, so tell me. What exactly is Adam going to say? <laughs> <laughs> 